So here we are in the lab, and oh my goodness, oh, ow, that's evil. I've got so many square dots in my eyes from turning this thing off. Oh, just, just turn it on again. Just to, yeah. oh, I'm just going to show you, this This thing is really quite mad. Here it is. And boom. Oh, lovely. Here we go. So that is the lighting system. My goodness, that's a bright puppy. <laughs> All right, just... Um, just want to say a big thank you to Robert Nerden, who had me on his channel. He's a welder, fabricator, artist. Uh, Robert, absolutely fantastic evening. Thank you so much. We all had a lot of fun, didn't we, honey? Camera lady. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Hello, Tony. <laughs> Here we are. I'm playing around with a power booster and a 50 watt. LED chip array. Check that out. That right there, that's a minus symbol. That right there, that's a plus symbol. Um, yeah. So, how does that relate to anything that's going on here? Connects this pad here, connects directly to this pad. This pad here connects directly to this pad. So, ultimately, uh, that's, uh, that's how you wire it up. And we found that using a Fluke AV3. Check it out with Peppa Pig. There's no lights going to happen. Yeah, well, just... I know there's no lights going to happen. Plug it in, plug it in the old. Stuff it, get in the old, Richie. There she goes. Really? 24 volts. Oh, we've got any for that. So, apologies for the mess. We now have 24 volts on the Fluke 83 with Peppa Pig coming from a single 18650 cell going through a boost pump. Um, so there it is. The uh, next thing to do will be to connect it, once we've got the voltage set correctly, to this LED. And the theory is, and Rich is just winding up the um, voltage to about 32 volts, and the theory is once we've got it connected to this LED, this LED should light. It's a 50 watt LED. It might be quite mad. And Richie did warn me it does get rather, rather, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, the excitement then, 28 point something volts across that LED bank from a single lithium ion battery and a boost pump. And trust me, that's uh, quite a beast. Hello people, just a uh, quickie, electromaker.io very kindly published the robot lawnmower on their site. Go check it out when you get a chance. Quite easy, electromaker.io. And um, also, uh, they have a contest on. It's a connectivity contest. Um, and you can enter this contest if you've got a piece of hardware that you've made that has some kind of connectivity, likely to be Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I'm moving <laughs> swiftly on. <laughs> Uh, yes, you saw us playing with this earlier. Uh, this is uh, an LED array, high power LED array, and uh, a charge boost, uh, charge pump type circuit. So, a couple of batteries, a baked bean can, LED array, magnifying glass of some description or another. And uh, the next episode, hopefully, or a future episode, hopefully, will involve us making some kind of a flash lamp. Going forwards from there, I found for a whole pound a little wooden box and uh, I'm planning to make a useless switch out of it. I don't know if you've seen the useless switches, but they have like a little servo Arduino control thing. You put a switch on the front of it, you click the switch, a little hand or a little something pops out of here and turns the switch off. So yeah, why not? You know, it's just a laugh, isn't it? So uh, anyway. Um, enjoy and um, don't forget subscribe go watch some of the old videos there's loads of old videos so try not to go too far back because the ones that are quite way back are pretty poor um, and these ones aren't much better but you know enjoy yourself cheers bye, -bye. right we found that the, um, the battery voltage was dropping a little bit when it was trying to source so much current to the boost pump so uh, you know, put a few extra batteries across it and hopefully that should do the job. These are quite possibly the coolest 
old school wire strippers. Okay, so now we've got 36 volts, we've got a whole array of batteries, and uh, wow. 29 volts. That's a bit more like it, isn't it? Yeah. It's not dropping off a little bit there, but uh, that's doing okay. How, is it anything feeling hot? No. No, not doing so okay. still probably drive it more. Mm. Cool. Okay. 29 volts. That is really evil. I can't look at it. Oh, that's good enough, mate. Right? Don't set things on fire. Well, don't, set, don't set the bench on fire for the missus. It's not very hot. How does that feel? No, it's fine. That's not warm at all. No. He's a little bit warm. Okay. Mm. The... Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that chip's getting... Uh... Well, it was quite warm a minute ago, but it's, it's cooled down a fair bit. Yeah, it's getting warm. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Sort of works, though. Bit of forced air cooling, maybe, and uh, that might do. The, that might be a really nice light. Okay, so we know what voltage is immediately across the uh, LED. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look at current and see uh, see what the current looks like. Nothing. Three hundred milliamps, two hundred eighty. So. So that's just not not anywhere close to where it needs to be, is it? No. Up to full. Okay, power. so uh, we just uh, we just put a rather fat, hairy set of lithium-ion cells uh, on this. 12 volts going into the pump, and uh, here's the LED, which is quite evil. We did go for it, and that's the current. So over an amp now. Yeah, that is quite seriously evil incarnate. Yeah, and things are actually now starting to feel quite warm. Well, the LED is feeling quite warm. That's better. Here's that. Much yeah, happier. that's much better, that's much happier. Yeah, that's um, that's got it. Cool. Okay, uh, we've decided to turn the light off in here and Richie's going to fire up the LED from over there. Here we go, after three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh man, that's quite serious. Cool. What are you doing, Dave? Trying to figure out if the heat sink it's a little bit too proud for the light. Great news, we've now got a light, a heat sink, a big fat hairy heat sink, and a couple of uh, holders for 18650s. So, uh, the plan is to continue work on this. So, as much as this looks really dodgy right now, um, what we're actually doing is getting some thermally conductive paste and a fan and the super bright LED and we're connecting it to the heatsink. Oh yeah, that's really really nice. That is really nice. Yeah. Uh, that was a that was a premium magnifying glass cost all of £1.50. So that's going to be the lens. Right, there we go. Check it out. That's going to be the lens. Do, 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 do. Can you see how much of an angle this is on? That's a good bit of dubious engineering going on right there. The LED to the heatsink with thermal paste, and now what we're doing is we're wiring up the boost circuit and uh, the batteries so that uh, we can give it a quick test. Um, and very soon we'll have this in some kind of an enclosure with some lenses on it, which will make life interesting. Nice. Okay, so this is really quite interesting. I bought these on eBay, um, and you'll notice that some pictures. Hopefully, you can see that there's some pictures of some batteries in there and they show the two batteries are connected reverse polarity so in different directions um, which is really quite interesting because normally you wouldn't have a spring on the nipple of a battery um, anyway ultimately if you look at this these two terminals are connected together these two terminals are connected together. If you put the batteries in like that, they will quite literally short out. In fact, I should probably do this for fun. Uh, they will quite literally short out, burn this up in, in, into smithereens in a second. 
actually both of the batteries need to be fitted in the same orientation, which I nearly didn't do. Um, but yeah, that, yeah, eBay purchase, just, you know, watch yourselves, guys. Sometimes you might get caught out by this. So both of these need to go in, let's mix them up like that. And both of these need to go in that way around. I haven't cleaned these up, so. Right, I believe that should all be, that should all be connected up now. So, uh, when, when I connect this to that, Oh, 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 that's evil. So here we are in the lab and oh my goodness. Oh, ow, that's evil. There we go. So that is the lighting system. My goodness, that's a bright puppy. That is horribly, horribly bright. Fantastic. Okay. I've got so many square dots in my eyes from turning this thing on. Oh, just, just turn it on again. Just, to, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you this. This thing is really quite mad. Here it is, and boom! Oh, lovely. Make a snow angel. Yay. Properly with your arms. Dig harder with your arms. I spread this way. <laughs> <laughs>